Hi guys, welcome back to the video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this adorable cabbage schnauzer. Okay, so to make this we're going to need a pot of bird beads, a pot of red beads, a pot of grey beads and a pot of white beads. Now, these beads take me out of salt, which is not a very enjoyable experience, and I don't recommend you spend your time doing that. Um, so, instead of doing that, the kind of solution is in the description below, you can go and buy our kit. If you kit, click the link in the description below, you can go and buy our kit. Um, in that kit, you get all the beads you need pre salted, so you won't have to spend wasting your time doing that. You also get Big handy dining paper, which is really expensive if you don't buy it from us. So we like the pound pound beach is really expensive. You also get a template, which is really useful making the schnauzer. Now I can't emphasize how much you need to buy our kit for template because I have failed three times. I'm having to be master. I've missed five years and I've failed three times to make this. I can't emphasize enough how much you need to get a kit because this really can help you. We also supply see-through boards so that you can put your template under and be able to see where to put the beads which is really 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 helpful for making designs like this so we're also making a cockapoo design um so if this smells a kit Gets a lot of purchases and you get a lot of buying schnauzer. Cockapoo coming too soon, soon as well. Soon as well. So make sure to look out for that because I'm a cockapoo is more of a cockapoo person. I like schnauzer myself, but cockapoo is also nice. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to now make sure you go in at least eight beads. Okay. I can't even understand how much you need to go in eight beads because if you do not, your shells will be squashed and you're not going to make it. So go in eight beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I recommend you go like three beads down. Just so you have them there. Okay. Okay, so you got your first bead there, just count along 11. So Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so now you have that. Um, we can now start, you see you've done the very top of your outline, we can now start to do the rest. So to do the rest, what you're going to want to do is you want to go down, so you want to go down one and the cross one, down one and the cross one, and then down the cross one one more time. And then you're going to want to place another three beads onto that last one, so one. You can have four there. Um, you're going to want to do that exact same thing on the other side, so you have something looking a bit like this. Okay, so you've done the very, very, very top, but there's one more thing you need to do to make it to make the whole thing easy. But go down and across one. Cross one and then place another few uh, bead in front of both of them. Like that. Okay, so you have a very, very, very basic outline of your hand bead schnauzer. So before we go get make the outline for the white part of the schnauzer, we're going to make the eyes and the eyebrows because they're 
is useful to have made before you start doing the other part. So to make these, we're going to start with the eyebrows and we're going to go to the very, so this one here, go along one and then count down two, so one, two, and then on this bead here, the third bead down, so one, two, three, where you're going to place it, and then you're going to place another two next to that. You're then going to place a bead going down across, and you can place another bead going under that, do that on the other side, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to join up those two bits. And well done, you've made your first round of eyebrow. Now, what I can you do is I can you pause the video now and then come back once you made the other eyebrow. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you have something a bit like this. If you do, well done, you've made the eyebrows of your schnauzer. If you don't, I recommend you pause the video, rewind back to start and see where you have gone wrong. Now the next step is to make the eyes. Now I'm going to show you how to make one eye and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So so I'm going to show you how to make it on this side first. So you're going to go to the end of your thing here, see these two beads here, you're going to count down one and then place two beads, two black beads going down. And then you go down and across and then place another bead in front of that. So we're going to go up and across and then place another bead in front of that. And then you go up and across again. Place another bead across. Like that. So you have your basic eye shape now. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fill in these three pegs here. In the very corner and then you're going to fill in the very top corner with the white beads. Okay so you have your first eye. Now on to the second side before you go do that one thing you need to do is the other eye is one along so instead of having two beads going from here it's one along so there's two beads going from here. Okay so I'm going to pause the video now and then come back once you have made your second eye. Okay, welcome back. The next step is going to be make the white outline and then we can make the mouth and the side white outline. So to make the white outline, we're going to need to get a handle full of white beads. And to start off, we're just going to, so you see these two grey beads here, we're just going to place two white beads under. We're then going to go down and across one on both sides. We're then going to go down and across one again and then place two beads under that. So one, two, so yeah, I should have three beads now. Oops, me. Do it on the other side as well. And then so the next step, we're going to go down across, down across, down across, down across. So you can see five now. Um, I need to do that on the other side as well. So you kind of have some sort of heart shape looking thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two beads together 
to make the very bottom of our schnauzer. Now, I've chosen not to add anything onto this bottom bit, but if you want to, you could always add maybe a collar on or a bow tie on. I did look into adding a bow tie on, but I, I didn't think it looked very good. But then obviously there might be a way that you can make a bow tie on and look good. You should also adjust the design a bit. If you buy the kit, the template will show my design. So you can also, if you want to, you can also tweak my design a bit to make it to your taste. That's how I like my schnauzer. So next we're gonna do now is we're going to make the mouth. For this you're going to need some black beads and some red beads. But first we're going to be using black beads. So to make this, we're going to start from the eyes. Now in the eyes, you see there, you see there's three, there's a gap of three. Now, when I was creating the eyes, when I was creating the mouth, not the eyes, I made deliberate, um, it's not totally symmetrical. And that's, and, you, and as you can see that there, it's actually one third that way. And this is a design that I add in to make it look, you know, kind of feel like it's kind of like smiling, you know, they have like a grin that kind of like goes up that way. But I also want to make it still look symmetrical, so it's not a matter, it's only one bead that way, and you wouldn't really notice it unless you actually get it pointed out to you. But if you do stuff like this in your design, it's a nice little touch that um, people always like. So, to get with the mouth, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this bead in your eyes. You're going to go up two, so this bead here. You're then going to count down two, so one, two, and then place black bead. Then we're we'll then going to place one next to it, and then place another two under it to make a square. Okay. We're then going to want to down one and across one with another bead next to it then you want to go up one and across one to make that little curve thing you want to do that on the other side as well so yes it looks a bit like this so this looks nice but to make it look an actual mouth we're going to add eight red beads in and they're going to be in a very simple formation so I use red beads, and that can be spliced in the kit. But um, but if you have pink beads, you might as well just try and use them. But I like red beads because I think they're quite nice for the mouth um, area. But pink could also work, or you could try different other colours, like purple or any other colour you want. So to make the mouth, you're going to place two beads right in this kind of area here. We're then going to place another two beads under that, and then another two beads beside that, and then under that row of four beads, we're going to place another two beads. And we've got this nice looking, looking mouth, which isn't too big, as well isn't too small. Now, the next step is probably the simplest step, and that's going to be to Fill in your schnauzer. So fill in this white marked out area and then fill in the green marked out area. So just for preference here, from here it's grey, so from this top black bead of the eye, it's all grey above, and then from this bottom white bead of the eye here, it's all white. Just so you know. Okay, and then maybe one more step after that, and that leads to the ears, which um, are really tricky and I believe the most difficult part of the design so if you have a template that can help you out a lot if you don't and you watch this video and you'll want to make this I highly recommend you go buy a kit because you get everything you need pre posting and packaging and you also get the template which let me tell you will help you so much and the other thing is it's actually cheaper than buying from anywhere else so it's a no brainer and you also get a template so it's a very good idea to buy the gift mask if you want to make this hand beat schnauzer which i mean who wouldn't it's so adorable but if, you don't, if this doesn't pick your fancy we're also releasing a cockapoo kit as well so hold on for that okay
Okay, so I recommend you pause the video now and then fill in the two areas and then come back once you've done that. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully I sank a bit like this. If you do, well done. You've made, well, not made yet, but you've made most of your Oreo miniatures now. Now the next bit is going to be the ears. It's going to be really easy to do. So I'm going to take you through the ear on this side, and then you can try it in the other, the other ear on your own. So the first thing you do is you're going to put Two beads down. So you're gonna go to your, so the, the row of eleven beads. You're gonna place two beads coming straight out of that. You're then gonna place a bead under the end one, and then place another two beads in front of that. Oops. You're then going to go under the the middle one of that row and place another one going out. You're then going to want to do that again. Okay, so now you're going to want to make another line exactly the same under the line you've just done. Okay. So, you are now going to want to go down four, four on this bit of the ear. So, one, Two, three, four, and then three on this part of the ear. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, guys, so you've made your first schnauzer ear. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I recommend you pause the video now, do your schnauzer ear, and then come back once you've done that. Okay, welcome back. Hope you're starting to give it like this. If you do, then well done, you've made a schnauzer. If you don't, then I recommend you pause the video, rewind it back to start and see where you've gone wrong. Um, if you have gone wrong, um, I recommend you go back to each step systematically. You don't have to go all the way back through starts. So obviously, you will have something to keep it like this, but you know, if you just look for each step and see which one you've done wrong. Um, now if you sat for this video, but you haven't actually made it yet, and you want to make it, then click the description below and go buy our kit, because one, the template doesn't help you so much, I cannot stress enough, you need that template to make this, it is really difficult to do that without the template. The second thing is, our kit is cheaper than from anywhere else, so we have no room to buy it, it's free potion fashion to the whole of the UK. It's a really good deal. If you, if you sat through this and you're now thinking, that looks so complicated. I really want one of those, but I don't, I don't really want to make it. Then there'll be another link in the description below to um, our Etsy store where you can just buy one of these without having to actually make it. And it's the same if you can watch the video and be like, I like those, they look really nice. I really want to get one, but can't bother to make it, you know. We also just sell them, so 
um, pre-made for you. So it's also your choice you to make the, if you want to sell, if you want to make the kit, or if you want to just buy a pre-made one. That's totally up to you. Links to both those stores will be in the description below. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button and smash the subscribe button because these videos take me about maybe in total 10 hours to make. So I really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe button. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!